everyone's favorite temple, which is the Water Temple. Yeah, because everyone loves that. And the, I'd just like to point out that this is actually the third time I had to record this. Why? Because when I recorded uh, the other times, the sound did like that weird squeaking thing. Like what happened in my first treasure hunt walkthrough. So I ended up having to re-record it twice. Yeah, so here's step number three. Let's hope it goes well. Alright, so just swim through that area and dodge all the enemies. Then swim to the surface where you'll be at. Lake Bed Temple. Let's climb on up. And kill the enemies if you really want to, but it's not necessary. Do, 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 do. Alright, and jump towards this trigger here. Go down the trigger in order to open up this gate, therefore giving access to this room over here. Jump down. Open up these gears. Open up this door. And here we are in this room. Alright, let's walk forward and- Whoa! That was close. Whoa, that's treacherous. Whoa, don't you think you ought to knock down those stalactites hanging up with the snake birds? They don't look to be very stable. I bet they break pretty easily if you hit them with enough force, don't you think? Yeah, totally. Wait, what were we talking about again? Oh, brother. Um, so, yeah, basically you want to shoot at those stalactites with your bomb arrows in order to knock them down. The ones you want to knock down are this one, and this one, over here. The other ones are all just for like rupees and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so let's just walk over here, jump, jump, or climb, 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 and then here we go. Yay! Someone. And here's a nice but unnecessary overview of this area. Killed. Poor guy got backstabbed. I feel bad for him or not. Uh, so anyways, let's move on. And here we are in the main room of the dungeon. We're gonna be spending most of our time in, in this dungeon in this room. And there's one of those locked doors that everyone just loves so much. Okay. Now you're gonna notice right off the bat that there's gonna be some areas that are blocked off, but there are some doors on the other sides of these blocked off areas. So you know what we have to do to get to these, get to these blocked off areas? We're gonna have to rotate the staircase. Okay, but I don't think I'm strong enough. I'll, I'll do my best. No, wait, that, that's not how you want to move the staircase. Oh. You want to pull the trigger. What trigger? I don't get it. Do you get it? Because I don't get it. Let me just show you, Link, okay? After you kill these annoying spider things. I don't like those enemies. They annoy me. And anyways, this trigger is what you want to pull. Let's pull on it. Haha, <laughs> you can see the boss door. <laughs> We're not supposed to see it yet. <laughs> And there we go. So now you can get to some areas that you weren't able to get to before. Which is awesome. And let's see, let's move along. And there's another one of those enemies I don't like. And there's that door. And hey, who do we find over here? Why, it's our good buddy. Oku! And I'm just gonna skip over her dialogue, cause her dialogue's basically the exact same thing she said in the Guan Mines, aka the Fire Temple. 
So there's truly no point in just reading the same thing. She's gonna say some new stuff when we get to a certain dungeon. But obviously not this dungeon! <laughs> it's a dungeon that's kind of towards the end of the game. So yeah. Okay, so anyways, let's go find that key. Let's see, where's that key? Be go away! Go away! Jeez. Sure. Ugh. Let's see, what's what happens if we go on this level? Alrighty then. Okay, let's score up. And this is a room that we can't do anything with. So let's just leave. <laughs> do, 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 going downstairs. Okay. So we're basically trying to find the key so we can unlock that locked door. Ooh, ooh, here's a key. Here's, no, not a key, here's a church chest. Is this gonna have the key in it? No, it's just gonna have the dungeon map. Boo! That's not what I want. Duh. <coughs> ah, here's the room you wanna go into. Ah! New enemy? Let me tell you how you kill it. You basically wanna go around and attack it. What? Ew. And basically, to keep it from going around and basically going to try to keep facing you so you can't reach his behind. So basically what you want to do is you want to keep attacking yourself so he'll stay still for a moment. Giving you some time to get, make your way around and basically just keep it in until he reaches behind. Then keep attacking him until he's dead. Alright, now I go into this room. And right here I decided to be a blind person and not see that stalactite. So yeah, that was kind of embarrassing. Really, I mean, God. This is something that's like right in front of them. God. So after some editing out, finally realized, oh wait, this black tie is over there. So just go ahead and destroy that black tie with your bomb arrows. We're so pushing down this geyser. If you try to walk on the geyser, your link will be pushed back. Because obviously you can't walk on that. Especially water that's shooting up. So yeah. That's obviously not a good thing to do. Now is it? Is it now? Let me get here we go. Okay, do the same thing with this geyser. Sit down with the stalactite, and you'll be able to use it to ride your way up to that treasure chest. But first, I recommend you decide to kill these enemies inside the church and interfere with the plans. Look at this. That's why I hate those enemies, because they always get in your way when you're trying to do something else. Mean, man, true, it's disrespectful, and it's just plain not right. Okay, so we ride up. And what's this in this treasure chest? We get a small key. Awesome. Gear awesome. And I kind of got lost trying to find my way back. So, editing out time. Alright, basically just go back the way you came. Basically. Just basically did do everything you did in this room except for the black type part. But basically just do them in reverse. Yeah. That's the best way to explain it right there. Okay, so. Let's head on back to the main room. Do, 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 do. And unlock that locked door. Okay. okay. Up the stairs we go. there and then I moved the stairs when I didn't need to move them so yep whoopsies for me sorry okay so moving right along here's where we want to go open up the door 
Walk inside. And there's that enemy. Most of the time you can just skip these enemies, but apparently I decided to fight this guy. I don't know why though, because I just you literally just skip over them. Is this we didn't have enough of those things? Okay, we broke some jars. It's awesome, kind of. Okay, um, here's where you want to go. You want to take your bomb arrows, shoot them at the stalactites. Mainly just that one, that one I just got. This one that I'm climbing on top of. Use that stalactite in order to climb up and reach these vines. Cause climbing is fun. It is, because I don't really think it's all that fun. Says you, says the, says the one that can fly. Excuse me, do you have an issue with flying? Flying is a magical power of magical abilities. Men. Anyways, um, just um, jump up and pull on this trigger in order to open up this gate where, you know, you'll be able to make it to where you won't have to do that entire climbing game. That apparently someone doesn't like. It's not my fault! Use the bomb arrows or just no one wants to blow up that rock, and we got some enemies that I could just skip over. In fact, I think I actually edited this out. Yep, I did. Alrighty then. So let's go through this door over here. Alright, and over here we're going to find another new enemy that we won't be able to kill yet. We need to specialize in the dungeon first before we can kill him. Um, but as you can see we need a key, and I know we're going to find the key, but I'm going to explain it in the second segment that decided to not glitch up. But um, anyways, here we go with the second segment. Take it away myself. Okay, moving right along. Hoping that the commentary will record this time. Because I got flippin' annoyed when it didn't. Okay, so now that we're in this room, we got another one of those big dongo dudes. That we should probably kill right about now. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Oh, stop laughing. He's always trying to mess up my happiness, man. Uh, so anyways. Um. Ah, go away! Okay, um, basically what we want to do in this room, and the only thing we're going to be doing in this room, if he goes the right way, no, this way, thank you. God. One, the only reason why we want to be in this room is to get this key right here. That's the only purpose for this room's existence. The only reason why we need to be in here, and we do not need to go on in this room ever again. So yeah. Jump across. <laughs> We quit getting hurt by things that shouldn't hurt you. Yeah. Ugh. Drama queen. Ugh. Okay, so now that we got that key, let's go open up that door. Right now. Okay. And there's that locked door. Let's go open it up now. Go and... This is an interesting challenge, at least in my opinion it is. Um, basically what you want to do is not go in this area. Instead, you want to run this way, jump down here, 
and climb up these vines. <laughs> Excuse me, Bob. And there we go. Okay, now climb up here. And basically just keep running up this ramp. That's basically all you want to do. Just keep running up that ramp and you'll do just fine. And evil bad guys are dead. That is more than you. Die. And yes, you can just run past the enemies. You don't have to kill them during this part. You can just run past them and they won't do anything. It's not like that one, it's not like that one other room where if we were trying to go up that geyser thing on that slag tie and that bag gets decided to hit your ride and decide to kill us. Yeah, those spiders truly are annoying, I'll admit. And hey, what's in this treasure chest? Oh my gosh, it's... Bombs. Um, yeah, okay, we already have enough of those. Okay. So what you want to do is basically climb up this ladder over here. Climb up this ladder. And as you can see, we have one of those triggers, so jump over there and pull on it. And as you can see, we have the water flow. We're going to be learning more about the purpose of this later on. And that's time for the fun part. Super fun water slide time! Yay! Okay. Okay, and next you want to not dive underwater. I'm doing a lot of things that you shouldn't do for some reason. Um so instead turn this up around and pull on this trigger. That way the water that we just unlocked will flow into this room. And what will this do for us? I'll show you. Climb out of the water. Ah, uh, that was a good swim. Good job boys, good job. Hey there, Eagle Bubble Man. Uh, and as you can see, or as you're about to see, right here, the water is causing this little water wheel to move. However, it does not serve a purpose in this room. I don't know why it's here. Yeah, I don't get it. Editing this part out. Okay. Now that we're out of that area, okay, so. Even though that water wheel doesn't serve a purpose, this one does. Because of the water that just recently started moving, it's causing this water wheel to move. You know, that room where um, we had to, you know, shoot the stalactites and cause the geysers to go down and all that? Well, since those platforms are moving now, we can now access areas that we couldn't access before. Areas, mainly meaning the mini boss room. Yeah, that's right. We're about to go to the mini boss already. How awesome is that? We say we get going there now. Right? Before you enter the mini boss room, the first place you want to go to is this area right here. Because we need to get a key. Big surprise. <laughs> Alrighty. There's the church chest key now. Let's go get it. And there we are. So. so ah! Evil Balls of Doom, go away. And guess what's in this area, everyone? Through this doorway. Ooh, fade out, you know what that means. Mini Boss! However, we're in the area where you would exit the Mini Boss. And we obviously don't want to go there. Um. <laughs> Obviously, we want to go in the area that isn't the exit to the mini-boss. We want to go to the area that starts the mini-boss. And let's go there now. Going up here, and there's that platform. Go jump over there, and I am hungry. That was random, wasn't it? Still. Okay, and there's the area where the mini-boss is at. Let's go over there. <coughs> And there's that door now. And what's over here? Oh, it's just some random bad guy. Some boss. We don't need that. Let's just leave him alone and out. Up we go. 
All right, and first we get a mini challenge before we go get to the mini boss. As you can see, we have this little water current thing that's gonna push you back. And don't worry, the, it's easy to fight off the current. All you have to do is just put on the iron boots and you should be able to fight the current. And what's in this treasure chest? 20 rupees. Where were you in the last video? Well, okay, we got a boulder that you need to blow up with your bombs. And you obviously can't use arrows underwater, so you just need to place the bombs the way you would normally put a bomb. It's a boring way by just picking it up and just placing it there. Alright, now cause that pool to explode, therefore revealing a path that goes straight to the mini boss. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I am so excited. Now, are you pumped? Because I'm pumped. Here we go. So exciting. There's another new enemy, but I'll be explaining how you kill him later on. Ah! Go away! Leave me alone! I don't want to give you candy! Alright, everyone. Let's go fight that mini boss. Here we go. Alright. Let's climb out of the water here. Alrighty, what? Oh, that was strange. Well, it's complete. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. Get rid of it, get rid of it. Ugh, I wonder where that came from. That was weird. I wonder where the mini boss is at. It's completely empty. Then what do you think? There's something spooky in the air. Where are those things coming from, man? When the what the what what's that? Ew! It looks disgusting. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Ah! O M G! The mini boss is some giant frog thing. Oh man! Ew! That's gross. Oh man, Minda, what do you have to say about this? Okay. Ugh, it's creepy. I can't stand pimply things like this. This one's all yours. Are you sure, Minda? Uh, if I could really use some help right about now. And the way you kill these guys is basically spin attacks to do it. Spin attacks to do it to these guys. Are you sure you can't help me, Minda? I told you this one's all yours! Stop calling me! That's things grow! <laughs> I remember the first time I read that, I just burst it out with laughing. The reaction was just hilarious. And when the frog jumps up in the air, we're gonna get out of the way when we see its shadow, and then attack its tongue. That way, yeah, no, I'll stand the truth. But yeah, I just remember, I just like burst it out with laughing the first time I saw the reaction. Uh-oh. Step it up in here again. Look out! Here we go. Oh yeah! Oh! Ow! That looks like it hurt. Ah! Uh, I wouldn't want to be him right about now. Hopefully we have some refreshing milk. Which we just do the rest. Not here. Bump, 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 bump. Alright, we're sending out four of those evil fish to do. Kill them all! Kill them all, kill them all, kill them all, kill them all! Kill them all! Get them all. Get them all. Get them out of these bumps! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yeah, there we go! Okay, it's jumping up in the air again, Link. Get ready. Get ready to get out of the way. All right, get out of the way. What? Oh, come on. Jerk. Ugh. All right. Okay, everyone. Now, one thing I've learned you can do is you can actually shoot a bone arrow at his tongue and I'll cause him stun. And then you can attack his tongue. Sorry for the long pause, I just had a... 
and I shot him in the wrong area. Okay, let's try not to get crushed this time. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Yeah! There you go, Link. That wasn't so hard. Yeah! Good job, Link. Alright, shouldn't be much longer now. Ready? Oh, come on! Okay, jumping up in the air again. Here we go, get out of the way. Yes. Alrighty, and finish him. Yeah. Awesome, we won. Alrighty. And you that's kinda disgusting. Yeah. Ew, that wasn't good for my appetite. Hey, what do you think we suppose is in the church just that thing spit up? It's gross, but you should Yeah, I didn't get to regress that. Sorry. Darn stuttering game master. Well, without further ado, we say we go check out what's in this treasure chest. Come on, let's go look inside, let's go look inside. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what do we get? It's a claw shot! OMG everyone, this is the seventh time I'm recording this. Ugh. I am annoyed. But you know what, I'm going to calm down and just... Okay, let's just get back to it. Because I did the squeaking thing again. Man, let me tell you. Let me tell you, the water, with the water temple, it looks like the gameplay isn't the only thing that makes the water temple difficult. <laughs> Anyways, the controls for the claw shot for the seventh time is this. Oh, and I'm also sorry for the... No sound, but it was the only way to prevent it from squeaking. But anyways, um, well, um, the reason, what am I trying to say? What, the controls for this claw shot are to push the button you assign it to, it will have the aiming cursor, and then when it turns yellow, that means you can grapple onto something, push B to fire away, and voila, you've grappled onto something. You grapple onto that little trigger in the mini boss room in order to open up that gate, and then you can leave the mini boss room. Now I am going to just shut up until we get to the main room. Because there is seriously nothing interesting to say during this bit. So, yeah. By the way, it would have originally just been six times, but the sixth time it messed up was actually my own fault. Because I kind of exited out of the recorder before it officially finished saving, so yeah. That sixth time was my own fault. Sorry. Okay, now as you can see here, the water is now pouring into the main room, and it raises the data level. Now you're probably wondering what the point is for raising the data level. Well, it's simply this. We need to raise the data level in order to get to the boss room, because we currently can't reach that time, so we need to raise the data level high enough in order for me to, in order to get to the boss room. And let me just say, this is absolutely dumb. I'm trying to roll up the stairs so I can go faster, but Link decides to be an idiot and get hit by the stairs. So, yeah. That was really an idiot move. Alrighty, now before we do what we're supposed to do, let's first kill this annoying enemy! Go away! Go away. And, like I was saying before we do what we're supposed to do, let's get a piece of heart. Grapple onto the chandelier here. 
Grab one, thank you. Jump down and open up this treasure chest. In order to get a piece of heart. Yay! Alrighty. Okay, sorry for that little cutout, but um, I had to cut out some stuff that wasn't necessary because it took me forever to jump down off the chandelier. Okay, let's go do what we're supposed to do now. Let's go do what we were born to do. Or not. Uh. Okay, so what you're supposed to do is grapple onto this thing here with our new claw shot. Cause the staircase to move. And now the water is pouring pouring down the staircase. So now the water is flowing down the staircase into another room that's going to help us. And it's not this room, so I don't know why I went in here. And cut out. Okay, so let's go to the room we're supposed to go to now. Just follow the water flow. All right, everyone, let's swim down the stairs. That's a sentence you don't hear every day. Let's go through here. And as you can see, the water flow is now moving this ladder wheel now. Awesome. Let's go through this room now. <laughs> And here's a room that I hate very much, and you're going to see why later on. All right. Here's where you got to go. You want to grab onto this target here and jump down on the platform. And I don't mean any offense or anything, but I hope this is the last time I have to record this part. Because seven times. That's a lot, man. That's seven times. I'm recording this exact same thing over and over and over. Let me tell you, it's not fun, man. It's not fun. Okay, now you want to turn around and grapple these vines over here. Move over here. Jump down. Jump down. Jeez, Link, you vine hugger. And then you... Drop a lot of these vines. Climb up. Go this. Go. Go this way. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Now jump down. Jump. Wait. Why do you keep doing that? I'm sorry. I have a strange and awkward connection with vines. I just like for some reason every time I see a vine, I like have a strange urge to like hug it. I don't know why though. Strange, man. Okay, anyway, you want to grab these vines and get to this area here so you can go through this door. Alright, and if you look over here, we have some geysers. And, like always, there seems to be a stalactite conveniently above it. So what to do? Shoot a bomb air at the stalactite. Like so. Let's... Ah, you dummy! Alrighty, now let's... Climb up the stalactite, shoots us up, and now let's jump to the other side. Awesome! Alright, before we grapple onto that, let's destroy these enemies that want to get in our way, like always. Jeez, what's with these enemies and nothing to get in our way? Gosh. In any case, you want to grapple onto this dead over here. Jump down, open up this door. Run through here, and remember those enemies that are in the bubbles? Well, we can kill them now. Shoot your claw shot at the enemy to pull them out of the bubble, then attack them with your sword. Like this. Dumb wag. Okay, so that enemy's dead. Let's do the same with this one. And remember that challenge a while back when we had to run up the ramp, pull on the trigger, and make the ladder, like, pour down that super fun ladder slide, causing it to pour down to the main room? We gotta do the same thing with this part. With some minor differences here and there. One of them being we have to grapple onto these vines here. Grapple. Jump down here. Man, let me tell you, it's so much fun to have to explain the same thing over and over and over. I'm sorry, I know I shouldn't mention it, but I'm recording this seven times. Seriously. 
<sighs> anyway, grab one of these vines or just swim over there if you want to do it the boring way. But if you want to do it the fun way, grapple onto the vines. And here's that challenge I was telling you about. So just run up until you reach the top with some minor differences, like these enemies are here instead of those spider creatures that like to annoy us. And unlike with the spider creatures, you could just run past these enemies. Seriously, they'll just like fall off the edge. Right, and here's a little mini challenge here. Check it out. The way you do this mini challenge is you want to wait for the geyser to go down and then grapple onto the dead. Like this, let me show you. Just wait for it to go down, then shoot the target, and voila, there you go. Let's go. I'm gonna charge at you! Splash. Oh man, this water's delicious! Grapple on this there. Here's another enemy. Gotcha! Splash. Oh, hey, Jerry, how's it going? Oh, nothing much, Phil. Hey, you gotta taste this water. Oh my gosh, this water's delicious! I know! Okay, so, anyways, grapple on this dead over here before you go up the ladder. Then open up this treasure chest where we'll get the final item of this dungeon, except for the boss key, which is the compass. Yay, because we all love the compass. Or at least I don't like it so much because I find it kind of useless most of the time. Yeah, I hardly ever even use the compass, really. Okay, so just climb up this ladder and pull on the trigger like what you did before. Like so. Pass in the ladder to flow. And... <clears throat> And we get another water slide, but shortened. And check this out. Check this out. Ready? Whee! Hut! Oh yeah, that was awesome. Come on, you gotta make that look pretty cool. I, even though I've seen that seven times, that's still pretty cool. Okay, jump onto this trigger. Seriously, that's something I never get tired of. Okay, now that we have the water flowing... Let's get out of this room. Get out the same way you came in, by grappling the vines. Jump down. Go into this door over here. Through here. I'm gonna tell my computer to stop telling me stuff that I already know. And, um... Yeah, just swim through here, and now the, since the ladder is flowing, this water wheel is moving. So now we can continue on. Alright, and here's a door over here. Let's go through it. And remember how I said how I hated that room we were in a few moments ago? Well, take a look. Now the platforms are moving, and we're eventually going to have to go through these moving platforms, as well as grapple onto targets while they're moving. So yeah, more details of this later on. First, let's kill this enemy who epically falls off the platform. Yay! Okay. And I kind of got lost, so cut out time. Okay, I'm back. Alright, so here we are in this area, and this bad guy unnecessarily took a long time to kill. Ba-bam, ba-ba-bam. I wonder, is that axe on his tail, like, actually part of his body, or did he just tie it there? I don't know, but anyway, after you kill that enemy, go through this door. Here we are, and I'm going to make sure I don't be an idiot, and make sure to actually save before I exit out of the recorder. So, see you in just a minute, everyone. Hoping this is the last time I'll have to record this part. I am giving the sound one more chance. Okay, we're up to this trigger thingy, sugar thingy my bob. This door. <coughs> the little water wheel thing. And here we are back in the main room of the dungeon. And as you can see, the water level is now high enough to where we're able to reach the boss room. 
Yes, we can reach the boss room now, but we're missing one important ingredient. We found the boss here, maybe we get to the boss room, but we don't have the boss key. So let's go find that boss key right now. But first, let's get this. button, but as you can see, as soon as you step off it, the gates close really, really quickly. So we need to use, when you step on the button, go on top this desert and you'll be able to get through the gate just fast enough before it closes. And we got it. Sweet. Alright, now to get out, just grab onto the screen. And now let's make our way back to the main room of the dungeon. Okay, here we are, back in the main room. So grab one of this thing. And, alright, let's go back up the sta- Okay, never mind. Um, but wait, we actually do want this to happen. We actually do want this to happen. So we can get back to that room that we were just at just a few moments ago. And remember how I said how I hated the room, that room? This one be exact? Well, you are about to see why. Okay. We have to go through this room. So, get to that door on the other side. And in that room where the door... And behind that door is the room where the boss key is being held. So, we need to make our way through here. And, yeah, this challenge gets on my nerves. Yeah, check it out. You have to grapple on the moving target. As well as get to kill these bats that want to kill you. Even though you don't want to kill them because you're focusing on something else. And yeah, yeah, I don't like, I really don't like this challenge. It, yeah, I just... And getting back, can you just... It's difficult to get, get over there, but making it back? to that other room. Now that is difficult. Seriously, you should, yeah. And so, yeah. Yeah, that's me showing. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot I cut out. <laughs> I knew it took me a while, but I didn't know it'd take me that long. Yeah. 
cut it out. Okay. <laughs> go to the store. And we... <laughs> <laughs> that was floating in midair. Anyway, um. So we got a little challenge. It's time to do a maze. Yes, a maze. Oh, and here's how you kill these enemies. You want to wait for them to open their mouth and then hit the little pink thing that's inside them. Yeah, that's kind of gross. Um. But let's just pretend like that never happened. So yeah, basically you just want to make your way through the maze. Okay. Come on, Link. You can do it. You can find your way through the maze, maybe. Lost here in this. I knew I'd gotten lost in this, but. Ah! Here we go! Check it out! We got one of those bomb fish things. We're gonna use those bomb fish things in order to blow up this rock. So, let me show you. First, get them into bomb form, and then throw the bomb at the folder. Yeah, there we go. And the bomb with the boulder, and that will clear just way for it. That is awesome. Ah, go away, go away, go away. Don't go away, I'm not going to give you food. Uh, okay, here's another boulder. Uh, Mr. Fishy. Wait, what am I doing? Why don't I just use my normal bombs? Yeah, just do it the normal way. Don't do it the wrong way, but wait, what's in here? Ooh, what? Ah! Oh, that was close. Ah! Oh, that was close. Ooh, hey, what's us do this door. Let's go find out. Let's see? It's the room the boss key is at, but unfortunately we can't swim up together. We're gonna have to go find it by doing, doing it some other way, sadly. So, uh... I'll show you. I'll show you! Go back to the room, Link. Gosh! I'm just mad at him. I worry about him sometimes. Okay, let's go through this door. As he opens it very, very slowly. And then let's swim. And I believe it's behind that boulder that we passed earlier. Ah! That looks like a bird. Die. Now. Die. Die. And important note, um, you only, you can only grapple their, um, insides when they're not shooting electricity. When you're shooting electricity, you know, the electricity will go travel from the grappler onto the onto you, so yeah. So only pull them pull their insides out when they're not shooting delicious. And here's that boulder. Let's go blow it up now. Move out of the way. And then Alrighty, there's a pathway there. Let's go swim and check it out. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, that didn't go so well. Uh, what are you doing? What, is, what was I doing there just now? I don't, that was odd. Um, let's just ignore that. So swim up to the surface, go through this little door here. We got one of those enemies with the bubbles. Pull them out. Kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. 
And as you can see, we have a little hatch in the floor here. And right here, see? And right above us, we... Right above us, we have one of the, tr the triggers. The triggers will open the hatch. But when you try to jump down, the hatch will close immediately. So what you want to do instead is while still grappled onto the trigger, you want to slowly slide down. What you do this is while you're grappled onto the ceiling, push down on the joystick on the nunchuck, and then the blink will go down. And check it out! Oh my gosh, everyone! We got the boss key! Oh my gosh! This is exciting! Now that we have the boss key, let's just head back, and in the next video, we will be doing the boss battle of the Water Temple! See you in the next video, everyone! I hope this, this part doesn't squeak!